team fix and uh, as part of this course we have developed a smart recommendation system which is called RecoSmart which recommends the user with sport, ar sport articles of his, his own interest. As a part of the front end you can uh, currently view the login page which takes us to the home page when the user enters ca correct credentials. So when you hit login uh, the landing page is the home page where the user can view all, all the articles of his own interest here and uh, he can view the articles using the view button and uh, he can always uh, always change his uh, his interested articles by uh, by adding new articles and uh, and removing them using the delete button and we have also categorized all the articles into three main categories that is tennis rugby and cricket where the user can uh, view the articles from here as well so Coming to the recommendation system, we have developed an on-demand based recommendation system. When the user or user clicks on recommend new articles to me, a request is sent to the server from the client uh, in having the parameters which are the names of the interested articles uh, to the backend and uh, where the recommendations are generated and sent back to the client. This is accomplished uh, through socket programming. When the request from the client comes in, the server will run the program for returning the recommendations to the user. As you can see right now, when the program is run, initially the confusion matrix is created for the articles which have to be recommended to the user. That can be visualized over here. Once this is done, a set of data is returned, which can be uh, seen over here. It's being processed right now. And then uh, once that is done, the entire process will return the set of five recommendation articles based on the method of collaborative filtering, which in turn uses the alternating least squares algorithm. Once this is done, an ontology is generated. The ontology can be visualized as such. So our, our, uh, pro our project basically specifies the sports articles. And you can see from here that it goes to the different sports that are present, such as cricket, tennis, etc. So once this visualization is done, Spark QL queries have been run in order to retrieve the information. And once this is done, uh, the knowledge graph is designed as such.